morning. Welcome back to the Jet Fisher Channel. Well, it's a beautiful day today. Um, we thought it was going to be a little bit windy today, but um, last night about seven or eight o'clock, the weather report changed for the better. And here we are. We're uh, out offshore, not very far offshore this time, a little bit closer to the to the shoreline. Um, I've actually rigged up a one of my tailor that I caught in my tailor fishing sessions, and I'm going to try dragging that through slowly through a reef area looking for some uh, pelagic fish. Uh, we're getting into that warm time of year, so you know it's maybe a bit early, but um, there's been reports of a few few fish caught, and um, I thought I'd just, myself and Wade, Wade's back there rigging up at the moment. We thought we'd give it a go and uh, see what happens. If nothing happens, we've got all day, the weather's gonna be good all day, so we might head a little bit wider. But I thought we'd better try something different. It's been, um, I don't know, six months since we've tried to catch any, uh, you know, pelagic fish. There might be a bit of tuna about, there might be some mackerel about, um, who knows. So plenty of plenty of bait around this morning. I've never seen so much bait in this area in my life actually. So that's good and bad. Sometimes you know the too much bait we can't seem to hook anything because there's too much, you know, too much options for fish. But uh, got a nice tasty 35 centimeter tail around on this side. So something that's probably a little bit unusual this time of year it might sort of stand out. Um, I'm also uh, using a technique I saw in uh, some of the South African kayak fishermen. I've pinned the fins so they pin the uh, dead fishes, the dead baits fins up so that they look a lot more realistic. For the first time I thought I'd try that as well. There we go. That looks pretty damn realistic. Anyway, we've got all day. Um, hopefully I'll have some fish to show you. If we don't, well, you know, we're still going to have a good day out. But, uh, Catch up with you later if you catch the fish. Going? Oh yeah. <laughs> the old, as they say, yeah, not huge, but you know, it sort of after it got hooked, it swam up too. Hopefully, it's not a big grinner. Uh, it's, it's, it seems to be getting lighter now. <laughs> it's a grinner. I <laughs> reckon. I don't know, but it feels like one. Even a little one I'd be happy with. Grinner. I called it. <laughs> it was fighting like a grinner. <sighs> Cat food. <laughs> Look how blue the water is here. I've caught about four of those today. It's grinner day. Oh. Hope so. Yeah, he's just fighting a little bit. Different to a, I could be wrong. I hit it. Yeah. It's just a, maybe a smaller Jew, more energetic. This could be thirty kilo cobia. Yeah. That's one of the biggest I think I've ever hooked by the feel of this.
It's going to be getting tired soon. Every time I take a bit of line, he wants line back. No, so it's definitely not a jute. We, we've ruled that up. Could be. But it's, it's gone shallow now. It's weird. It's like running shallow. All right. He's still down a long way. He's still got to be. 40 meters down or something, I haven't been able to raise him up at all. Just gonna let him go because we're off the rocks now. I better get a gaff ready though. Hang on. It's not done. It is. Getting a few meters now. Uh, don't worry if you can't. It's losing a bit of the fight on it now. It's not shaking as bad. Neither am I though. It's close now. Just turn your engine off. You can. You might be able to sneak it up now. It wouldn't be a snapper either. It, it would have Baratron if it was a snapper. What are you? I think that's a massive cobia. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. Hang on. Ah, it's a tail wrapped. Nah. No, nah, he's a long tail. Long, long, long tail. Shit, it's a big one. The reason he wasn't doing circles was he was tail wrapped. I think that's the problem. Now he's doing his circles, look. Awesome. He's going to do this for the next 10 minutes, by the way. <laughs> How far we drifted, by the way? Yeah, fair way. Uh, 200 meters. This little tail's still going. Nice. Holy crap! One twenty five. A little bit more. One point three almost. Yep. 
Good old Gamagatsu in the corner. Circle? Yep. Just got to get this out of his mouth. He's, he's just pinned in the corner. That wasn't coming out. Somewhere on the line, he broke off my uh, sinker too. Oh, Jesus, it's heavy. 1.3 meter one. long tail. Well done, Paul. There you go, uh, 1.3 long tail tuna, or northern bluefin tuna. Bit of a surprise um, to get that around here, but um, welcome surprise, bit of sashimi. Um, Wade and I are going to share that up. My family don't eat a lot of tuna. Um, I don't mind a bit of sashimi myself though, so I'll share that way. He's back over there trying to catch some fish, so I better hang around and uh, go help him. So uh, long tail and uh, Wade got a lovely mull away again. So yeah, good day. We had a bit of a slow start. We tried a few different things, but um, didn't pay off today. Did the same old stuff and it paid off again. So I guess, you know, why bother trying it? something new? Anyway, thanks for watching the, sh the channel. If you got this far through the video and please subscribe if you're not a subscriber and I'll catch you later.